We see how critical communication is to healthy team function within the team as well as the role it plays in patient safety and satisfaction. There are many reasons for internal team difficulties. Arrogance, greed, dishonesty, lack of trust, prejudice and carelessness all contribute to team tension and dysfunction. But sometimes aggression between individuals is rooted in learned childhood behavior. And you're just so stupid. Nobody likes you. I'm not stupid. Yes, you are. Sarah is my friend. She hates you. So stay away from her. Look at you. Why don't you just get out of here before I punch you in the face? But Sarah said she was my friend. I'm not trying I'm to. I'm not trying to. Whiner. <gasps> Do you know how you sound? Worse than ridiculous. You know, that's why no one told you about pub night. Why are you? Things were so great until you came along. You ruin everything. It would take this much to get you fired. Bullying is a learned behavior. Children who bully may grow up to become adult bullies. Often those who have been bullied become withdrawn and anxious. Some even become bullies themselves. It is a subject that has gained international attention. It deeply affects children and adults. A bully in the schoolyard is just as toxic as a bully in the workplace. The Canada Safety Council reports that one in six employees is bullied. Bullying is illegal in Ontario, Quebec and Saskatchewan. There is a movement by many employers to equate bullying with other consequential acts such as sexual harassment or drunkenness. As children, bullies exhibit a need to control the areas of their life they can control. Sometimes they are victims of abuse in their home. Abuse can be directed at them or they may witness abuse between their parents. Whether it's physical or emotional, the anger and helplessness they feel at home can turn to aggression when they are with their peers. Seeing the effects of their power makes them feel better about themselves in that moment. They are in control in that moment. Furthermore, there is a false sense of belonging when witnesses of the bullying are too afraid to stand up to the bully. The witnesses join in to feel safe from the bully. They may follow the bully out of fear. They may taunt and tease the victims to show their strength and support for the lead bully, but it is a survival technique. Better to be the one teasing than the one being teased. Sometimes children with mental or physical challenges are victims because they are different. This can also be true of religious or ethnic groups where the difference is more evident. Children who have same-sex parents or parents with visible disabilities can be singled out. McMaster Professor Aaron Chat describes adult bullying behavior as repeated insults, snide comments, sneering or smirking in conversation, spreading rumors and ignoring or ostracizing someone. Other behaviors include physical abuse or the threat of abuse, intimidation, withholding necessary information or purposefully giving false information, constant criticism, undeserved punishment, undermining or deliberately impeding a person's work. There are many theories on why children bully. There are many contributing and complex factors to the cycle of bullying. Although we may not call an adult a bully, words like bossy, mean, aggressive, arrogant, sneaky, and pushy are just a few of the labels we give bullying behavior. Communication is a critical factor in the ongoing health of working teams. Conversations that address both challenges and successes are vital to collegial relationships.